hi guys good evening welcome to today's price action analysis video the price action analysis of the 5th of april 2023 and uh, what a day today a nice rally in nifty we saw that nifty opened right above the uh, h3 pivot today this is the h3 cambrilla level right this is the h3 cambrilla level and it opened right about here uh, so initially it made it came down it showed as if it was making a i mean it was filled it actually filled the gap here because it had opened higher so it filled the gap here and then it shot off and then it made this strong uh, green candle now the first green candle on the five minute time frame actually did not close above the h4 whenever the candle closes above the h4 it is a bullish sign the h4 is the camera pivot level h4 right in yesterday's video i had discussed the colors here the color of the h4 is green which means that if h4 is holding after a breakout then it means that the h4 pivot will see some good deal of buying and your target should be h5 so nifty achieved that target today this was a good strong green candle and here on this marubuzu candle had you gone long then there was an r2 pivot also here but given the strength of nifty uh, immediately after it took resistance if you can see here beyond this candle there was really no follow up to this red candle here and immediately the second candle next to that red candle took out the high of that candle here and after that it went and touched the h5 pivot usually i have seen from my experience i can tell you that if the h5 pivot is very close by and if the buying has happened uh, over the h4 pivot then the daily pivot r2 or any other floor pivot won't have a chance so if you go long on this candlestick with your stop loss below this candle then your profit should be taken at the h5 pivot the moment it touches the h5 pivot and here you could see that after that the price action actually showed you some reversal here but then it took a support in this zone and then it again shot up then it made this consolidation again and then another strong green candle to break the h5 pivot also now the h5 pivot is the uh, area of profit booking for those traders who are long since the h4 pivot here so here you should book your profits okay profit booking should come at h5 pivot now it is not every day that the market is going to keep rallying like this in one way isn't it so that is why I've always said in all my videos that you should not wait for, I mean, you should not run behind a, a running away price, a price that runs away. You should not try to catch a falling knife. Okay, so here when the price is running away, you usually should not run behind it. You should usually, now that you could see that this was a nice candle here which had broken out, right? So instead of jumping right into this candle, I can tell you from experience that most of the times if it's a breakout, then it will be a false breakout and price will reverse. But basically in yesterday's video itself, I had talked about this that we have had uh, ascending CPRs or higher value CPR since the last four sessions now. So one, two, and you can see here another three and four. So today was the fourth session. We have had ascending CPRs or higher value CPRs. And that is why I had said in yesterday's video that whenever there is a higher value CPR plus the close of the previous day is above the CPR, the that day CPR. And if the CPR of the next day is above the CPR of the previous day, which is a higher value CPR. It would mean that as long as the open of the next candle, next day's uh, price is above the CPR of that day, uh, the day will be carrying a bullish bias, a bias to the upside. So anyway, we were not looking at short trades today. We were not looking at bearish trades today. So that is one point that you have to remember that whenever you see a price action pattern wherein there is a uh, open above the h4 pivot it is one of the most bullish kind of uh, trading patterns so price had actually broken out of the h3 and h3 is a red level right so after h3 the price actually went and touched h4 here it spent a bit of time after that it gave a uh, a breakout so that is a, a good sign a consolidation after a breakout and you could see here in bank nifty that we had an open below the h4 this candle made a kind of a long wick on the bottom and it was a neutral kind of a candle it was not exactly bearish neither bearish nor bullish so this candlestick was not really representative of very strong sellers nor strong buyers okay so <clears throat> this candle high and low were of importance because this was the first one hour high and low the first one hour I had low with between which price was continuously trading now I had said in a tweet that if price continues to trade and close the day within these levels then tomorrow we might be able to see a good big rally 
we did not see a big rally today in bank nifty as compared to nifty nifty really rallied well more than 150 160 points but in bank nifty we did see a rally from here to here this point and this rally actually fizzled out it took resistance at the r2 pivot and then it fell down so if you want me to uh, go to bank nifty alone see so bank nifty had some interesting price action to show us i had said in yesterday's video that even bank nifty has an elevated cpr so this cpr here we had also marked the virgin cpr from yesterday so you can see that this is the box of yesterday's cpr and today's cpr was on top here and we also had the l3 pivot here so this confluence is very strong the l3 pivot uh, the, which is the camarilla pivot so the cam l3 plus the uh, let's write l3 here plus the cpr and the cpr being the pp the central pivot which is the strongest kind of support for price so as long as the price opens above the central pivot range of today we are going to have a bullish bias and it does not matter if it opens with a red candle as long as the open is above the cpr of today we carry a bullish bias into the market so this is the power of uh, CPR analysis. Once Bank Nifty actually opened with this kind of a red candle, the best possible trade would have been had Bank Nifty sold off to this level and we would have seen some sort of a reversal candlestick pattern at this level. So which are the candlestick patterns that I trade on? I normally trade on the candlestick patterns which are normally seen in Nifty Bank Nifty, which is the, uh, the e morning star or the evening star pattern. So this is a red candle and these two are green candles. This is a doji and it can be a gravestone doji. And then we have this kind of a uh, green candle which closes within the body of the red candle here. So this is a classical textbook pattern of a reversal. Another pattern I look for is if this is a red candle like this, then I see whether there is an outside bar pattern here. This is this candlestick is a green candle. And this is a red candle so it completely is outside has formed outside this red candle and so it has completely engulfed this red candle so on the high or on the close of this candle rather i will go long and where would be my profit booking here now that it has come down from here i would naturally keep my uh, profit level here at the h4 not at the h3 since it has taken the resistance at the h4 and it has broken the h3 already so many times I will if if it actually had come down here and I had taken a long position here my profit level would have been the H4 and not the H3 at all I wouldn't have stopped at the H3 I wouldn't have stopped at the R1 the reason being that if the first candle opens at H4 then the day high is at H4 and <clears throat> if the sellers are pushing the price within the previous days range, range again if you can see this was the PDH level and at the PDH level you can see a lot of price action here at the pdh itself price taking support for a long time then here after price closed in the previous day's range again here you would find buyers pushing the price up again and up to which level would they push the price up most likely up to the h4 level now up till the h4 level this is the level at which i would book my profits i do not normally wait to see if price actually goes beyond that level i never trade up to the h5 level there are very basic rules that i follow when i see that price is opening above the h4 level okay above the h4 camera so i would be trading on the h3 and the l3 cam levels most often if they are in tandem with the cpr cpr is my lifesaver it literally uh, dictates my trades i do not trade anywhere without the cpr only if there is a, a proper cpr placement on the chart then i will decide to choose which side i want to take a trade on and as i said anyway my side is already already chosen so as i had an over uh, um, an ascending cpr today i had already decided that as long as the open is outside i mean above the cpr i will be looking only for bullish patterns now in bullish patterns i never go and search for patterns where price is going up like this i never do that i always look for a correction see in yesterday's video also i mentioned it that whenever price goes up like this then it will most often correct to the level of the cpr so this is the level at which i look for reversal trades and if i have the camarilla l3 pivot at the same level then i am much more powerful uh, i mean uh, that trade is much more powerful for me that reversal is much more powerful for me and i am way more confident when trading on that level so that is the reason why i 
typically wait to see if price reverses back to an area of confluence. Now this area of confluence could be the L3 and S1 also, right? So it doesn't really have to be only the CPR, but any level combined with the CPR already has its own strength defined much better than that level being alone. So alone L3 does not command much power. Uh, alone uh, S1 will not command that much power, but L3 plus S1 will have a very good power because these are two pivots together. So most likely they'll act as good support and L3 plus CPR will create a massively strong zone. So that is why even if it doesn't uh, correct to this level, I do not suffer from FOMO and I just sit there doing nothing. So as long as my price is trading above the central pivot range, my uh, bullish outlook will always remain. My bullish outlook about the market will always remain. So if you can see here, Nifty has made a very wide, very wide range day today, right? So now the very wide range day today in Nifty is going to print an extremely tight CPR, uh, extremely wide CPR for tomorrow. Let's go ahead and plot tomorrow's CPR here. See how wide the CPR is. It is abnormally wide. And you can also see that it's, it's again teaming up with the L3 pivot. So the L3 plus PP here is going to be the golden zone for me. So tomorrow, if I'm supposed to find trades, then what I'm going to look for is, I'm going to look for this particular price level here, which is somewhere around the 17500 mark so between 17500 and 17520 is where my buying position tomorrow will be created if at all the price actually does open anywhere between the h4 and the or rather the h3 and the cpr so anywhere above this level or rather i would say even above the bc that would also be okay but I basically want the price to open between these two uh, zones, this particular zone to be very confident about the trade. Uh, any price open below the L3, this level here, which coincides with the PP. And if any price opens here with a red candle, then my outlook would be totally different tomorrow. I will have a totally different outlook. In fact, then if price were to open somewhere here, touching the L3 and it forms a red candle, I'll wait for price to sell off and then it comes up. Then I'll look for a price action at this level why because then it will be a confluence of the day high which is the current uh, days a uh, high price here where from where it has fallen plus the uh, pp of the cpr plus the l3 which is a very strong and even stronger combination now so i will look for trades uh, which are on the short side only if the price were to open gap down here within this particular area okay so that is how I will be looking for trades tomorrow. Now that is that will be for Nifty. I'll just go to Bank Nifty in a while and tell you. Before that, I'll just mark off uh, mark off these levels here. This is the important level for tomorrow. Although I am very sure that the price will not sell off to that level tomorrow. This is the Virgin CPR uh, of today, which is not very wide anyway. So it might not be able to hold price anyway and we don't have any gaps particularly yeah one level i wanted to talk about here was this particular supply zone that i had marked you can see that nifty broke out of that supply zone uh, let's go back a bit see the supply zone was coming from a big big fall a massive crash on the 13th of march you can see this crash here and that supply zone has now been taken out let me take you to the daily time frame and i'll show you which supply zone i'm talking about so you can see here that this was the candlestick that we had seen the 13th March candle and at this particular level you can see that the uh, supply zone was present and also a gap was present here which uh, let me just mark the gap here like this so this was the gap that was present on that day okay and price has now filled that gap so it has not just broken out of the supply zone it is actually closed out of that very handsomely so you can see how Nifty has suddenly taken a jump from there after a long period of accumulation here. So that's what gives me some confidence now. We are already looking, uh, we are just shaving 17,600 today. Uh, we are extremely close to 17,600 now. And let, let's take a look at the high of the day. The high is 17,570. So we're just 30 points short of 17,600. And 17,600 level is very close to the low point of this particular red candle. The low is around 17,573. So we are extremely close to that level, which again is the top border of the gap that I just spoke about. And since it's 573, you can see that the low price is 573.6. 
and we have gone up to uh, a high of 570 so we have not exactly closed out the gap completely but uh, we have uh, barely a few three points to go now if tomorrow we gap up open then uh, the gap will be filled anyway so the next resistance lies at this particular level and the level being around 17800 you can see this level here so now the major resistance will be 17800 that's as far as nifty goes and now let's head over to bank nifty we'll just take a look at bank nifty's intraday price action and we have any levels here yes we do have a virgin uh, cpr coming from today's price action so or coming from today rather so we will mark that virgin cpr off and this will be important let's check tomorrow's uh, cpr we can see that in bank nifty we have an ascending cpr or a higher value cpr here tomorrow if this price opens anywhere near the close here okay then it might look to sell off up till this level and then it might look to take support here but as i told you bank nifty's price action has been for the most part sideways today except for this particular rally that we saw uh, there has really not been much here even after breaking out of the h4 zone and the day high the price never really went anywhere it took a resistance exactly at r2 and then it sold off again so we don't really see much uh, price action here as far as uh, taking the uh, a view tomorrow goes we are not very uh, flat about bank nifty tomorrow because we have basically traded in a flat zone today so you can see the amount of trading that has happened within this zone today and price actually happened to come back into that zone again and trade within that zone again so this was the zone where price traded for the most part today and that is the reason why the cpr is not very wide in bank nifty and open anywhere above the cpr above this level or even above the uh, above this zone here will probably see a pullback right down to the cpr and we also have a nice support here in price so this is also a good support area so we might see some support coming in there as well so i don't think that this particular uh, zone is going to be really challenged tomorrow the virgin cpr is really going to be challenged tomorrow but we will see in tomorrow's price action wherever price opens so if price were to open anywhere above the h3 level i will be really wary about it because nifty will not be most likely will not be uh, going for a, a big run tomorrow again nifty will nifty will most likely uh, trade in a very silent fashion tomorrow it might be a sideways day in nifty so it might be a quiet expiry since we've just seen a rally and it is difficult to see uh, or it is unlikely that we will see rallies on back-to-back -back days in the indices but bank nifty has actually closed around the 41,000 mark so tomorrow uh, anytime we see some sort of uh, selling we might see the 41,000 to 40,900 zone providing good support to price so this entire zone will act as a good support for price and bank nifty also might keep going sideways tomorrow maybe the uh, it might sell off to here and then it might jump again so it might trade in a range tomorrow but uh, we have to uh, take the day as it comes and we will base our opinions upon the kind of opening that we see tomorrow so uh, <clears throat> let's go to the one day time frame in uh, in bank nifty let's see if we have any area of significance here uh, see basically we had a, a gap here in the bank nifty we still have a, a little bit of a gap to be filled just like in nifty maybe just a little a few points there i'm not sure i'm not, i haven't checked that yet but uh, this 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 particular uh, gap is the one that i'm talking about so from this candle's low which is around 208 41208 and we have made a high of 41071 today so 47 41208 so we have a few points to go in the gap to be filled so tomorrow bank nifty might look to fill that gap so we might see some buying up to the level of around 41,200 tomorrow but i don't see a very big uh, trending day tomorrow so guys i think uh, this is enough explanation as far as price action is concerned and probable trades for tomorrow are concerned just ensure that you are uh, running with a good stop loss tomorrow if you are looking for expiry day trading and uh, since nifty and bank nifty are not exactly aligned you might want to be careful for tomorrow because nifty might show a, a silent action tomorrow and bank nifty might look to break out tomorrow 
but i personally believe if nifty is going to be silent then bank nifty might look to be sideways as well that's just based on my experience i could be wrong there all right guys so that will be all for today's price action analysis if you've liked it please hit the like button subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you're notified every time i post a new video thank you for your support guys and keep your messages coming in they really motivate me thanks and have a good day bye bye